What's up everyone, welcome to another video. It's very cold over here uh, in Chico. It's like five degrees Celsius. I'm going to my office to film this real talk episode. In this episode, we're gonna talk about how relationships are important in corporate life or in your work life and how to build those relationships at work. Let's get started. You know, the goal of my channel has always been to provide the value and immense value and, you know, grow and inspire, educate and empower you. So today, instead of just me saying things, uh, you know, you will have a little bit more credibility and validity ki, ha, bhai, like it's not just me who is saying these things, but there are other people also who believe in these things. Made it to office. That's, that's my office. You can see that. You see that guy walking. That's my coworker. His name is Dale. You've probably seen him in my vlogs. That is my another co-worker. I think we are ready. You guys can come a little closer. Unless you want to mention six foot feet. Oh! Brian, that's my co-worker. Hello! <laughs> and Dale. So Dale, you've probably seen him because he's been in my vlog before. Kayaking one where he drowned me. Or <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> and Brian, I don't know if you know this, but you've also been on my channel. Oh, I did not know that. That's so cool. <laughs> Where you were dressed up as pirate. Oh, the pirate. Yeah, yes. well, yes, I do. I do remember that one. Yeah, yeah. I so, need to do that again. Before we actually do anything, let's do a quick intro, like very short. What do you do at EXL? And your name? Uh, uh, Brian Palmer. I have no idea what I do. Um, <laughs> I, I, I started off actually back in 97, September 15th, 97. Uh, enjoying support and worked in support until about 2011 I think it was and uh, then moved to release engineering which is uh, well release engineering can be different for uh, for every company in this case it has to do with script writing tool writing and, and digital packaging and that kind of stuff um, and then about two years ago I was also pulled in as part-time IT, which has turned almost into full-time IT the last seven months <laughs> due to COVID and uh, had a lot of the building to myself for the most part. <laughs> anyway, the, yeah, I think that covers most of it. And 97, that's what, how much, 23 years? 23 years. Wow. Uh, yep, September 15th was my 23-year anniversary. That is crazy. Uh, Dale. Yeah, I've worked at EXL for 13 years, so oh. 10 years less than Brian. <laughs> but it still seems like it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I started out when QA and support were one department and mm -hmm. started working with Brian there. And then eventually support and QA divided and Brian stayed with support and I moved on to QA. <clears throat> And um, now I'm the QA manager. I work with Brian almost every day. We talk on call and work with him a lot, lot more. Like, <laughs> because, you know, dev and QA has to be friends and not enemies. Uh, you know it, how. It, it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely helps. Yeah. yeah. Why relationship at work is important and how to build relationships uh, at work. So before we start, do you guys agree that relationships should are important? Uh, ab absolutely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> and, and why do you guys think that why building relationships at work is important? We go first or you want me to go first? Um, I can. I, I think it's important because if you in don't enjoy your job, it it's just a job then and, yeah. it, and, it's, and it's not worth it but if you at the very least enjoy the people you're working with that can make any job yeah. a whole lot more meaningful yes. and fun even though i mean no matter what type of work you're doing even if the work isn't fun the fact that you have friends at work can make it better yeah and if you're lucky you have 
both. You enjoy what you do and who you do it with. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You got got to look at it. Uh, depending on whether you're single or not, you're spending eight or more hours a day yeah. with the people you work with. Right. Um, so uh, it definitely helps to uh, 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 to garner good relationships with everybody around you. Um, I love my job. It's a lot of fun, but there are days when, boy, it's rope. Pain in the keister. Um, <laughs> but the thing that that really helps through on some of those types of days uh, are your coworkers. Yes. And um, I work. I, I've I've luckily worked with just fantastic people over the years. Mm -hmm. um, almost everybody I've worked with has been just a fantastic person. So uh, yeah, that answers uh, the question. And. And just to add to both of this and the reason I bring them is because I've worked with them and I've been, I've been friends with them now. So it's not like now we are just co-workers, it's more like a friend and that that's much, much more fun because when you come every day in the morning and you're like hate the people you work with, you're not <laughs> gonna have fun. You're gonna most likely start looking for another job. So how do we build a relationship? Like for, because international students, they like the work culture is so different from here and versus India and you know you both have worked with people in India yep. <laughs> and you've seen the differences right like how we work over here versus how people work in India so I'm and I'm, again I'm comparing with India because that's my majority of audience but it, it, this applies to most of the countries too so uh, culture will be different and people at least for my audience, I know that we are Indians or international students get scared. Like they don't know how to start to build a relationship. And what's your advice? How can they take that first step to start the build, building relationship at work? I think the first thing is just be friendly. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at the very least, just say hi to people yeah. and smile. Yeah. And, and that that goes a long way. Yeah. And then you know people will will appreciate that and yeah. you know start talking back to you right and you know starting to build that and one thing i've had to do is sometimes step out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. i i can be very introverted and just sit at my desk and do my job yeah. and not talk to anyone but especially <laughs> here um when we start to when we moved to this location, people started going out to lunch. Yeah. And I always brought my own lunch and just sort of ate at my desk. And then um, someone asked me to go to lunch with them, with the group, and it was fun. And I got to know those people a whole lot more. Yeah. So if you have the opportunity to go to lunch with someone, take advantage of that because that really helps the relationship grow. Right. And there was some people that I didn't work with very much, but because of either work sponsored activities or just going to lunch with them, they became friends. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's nice to do stuff in, in the office, and uh, but but make it a point to go out, do do lunches or coffees or mm -hmm. you know whatnot um, yes. with teams or with individual people. Um, listen well. I mean, uh, it, it, talk to other people, um, but also make sure to listen and uh, and then provide your your point of view and so on and so forth. Add yourself into the mix. Um, but be friendly and be a good listener. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think uh, the thing is like for interns, they usually get, they are hesitant to even like, I mean, Brian doesn't work with my team, like how do I say? But I wanna tell you that people over here, at least especially in America, are very friendly and they are open to relationships. So you just have to take that first step and saying hi right? and things will just follow. And it as simple as like, hey, can we go on a, short walk uh, outside work and then i've done that with dale i've done with you know so many people at work and and it's just you don't necessarily have to talk about work you can just talk about mentorship you can talk about anything and people will be willing to help you absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah definitely yeah and that's also if, if 
we've gone on lunch so many times now that's how he's introduced to indian food <laughs> <laughs> yes and i need to get out and do that yes. more too because i love indian food yes like my, you need my, to come with us <laughs> my father now goes to an indian restaurant for thanksgivings oh really when he's not with us so oh, yeah that's funny. anyway anyway <laughs> yeah uh, yeah be really. Uh, oh and ask questions yes. boy howdy ask yes. lots of questions Th um, there is no such thing stupid question very true uh, right yeah so, the only stupid question is the one that isn't asked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and don't think a lot in your head that if I ask this question, what are they going to think of me? Because they know that you're starting out and maybe you don't know stuff and that's why you're asking. Yeah, right? and that, yep. yes. Yep. Asking questions is of your team is especially a good yep. way to get to know them a little bit. Right. Um, and, you know, after you've talked about work a little while, it will naturally go into, yeah. oh, I've been helping you a lot at work. Uh, what, what are your interests? Right. Yeah. So, yeah and, and if you, you know, and if you, sorry, uh, if you do start off, um, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge introvert. I don't sound like it or look like it now. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I truly yeah. am. So when I first started, you know, of course I'm terrified and, and yeah, I remember when I first started 23 years ago thinking to myself, gosh, when am I going to learn this stuff so I can actually do it? Or where, when am I going to be proficient? Oh my gosh, I do so much stuff now. I'm all over the place. <laughs> um, but you know, when you start off, everybody's a little bit scared and nervous and so on and so forth. And it's the same with me when I first started and, uh, uh, you know, I didn't want to ask questions. I didn't want to rock boat, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And now half the time, these poor guys can't shut me up. So. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, you, you, you'll get used to it. I mean, if you're the type of person who is very nervous at first, you know, it, it, just, just do it. Just, just do, do it. it. Just yes. Do it. Yep. Just do it. Yeah. One, what's last, last question. What's the one tip you would give to anybody who's just starting out in that company? or starting an intern, maybe think of it if your daughter or son was going to their first job, what, what advice would you give? Work with people smarter than you are. Wow, yeah. Which luckily I work with most, Thank a lot you. of people Thank smarter you, than me. No, no, it's, it's something my dad, it's something, something my dad said. He no, said, all, you know, always true. try to work with people who are smarter than you because it will drive you forward. But really the, the big piece of advice is just give yourself time, open up, ask questions, and dive in and be a friend. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I would say if you're really nervous, just learn to smile. Yeah. And if you can fake the smile for a while, then the rest will come. Yeah. And, you know, be as friendly and open as you can and ask lots of questions. Yep. Yeah. Um, if you're asking questions, you're learning. Yeah. Yes. 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 Well, that's those are the advices, and thank you both of you for doing this. We have to go to our meeting, but Absolutely. thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. We have an interesting way. I end my videos by saying, "Keep smiling and keep hustling." So I'm gonna say until our next one. So you can say, "Keep smiling." Well, you said smile, so let's do <laughs> keep smiling, and you can say keep hustling because you said work hard and smart. So you can do that, and then I'll say gotta hustle every single day. All right. All right. Okay. Again, thank you so much for doing this. It really means a lot, and my audience are gonna love you. Comment and let them know, Brian Dale. Thank you. Uh, until our next one. Keep smiling. Keep hustling. Gotta hustle every single day.